Hello everyone and welcome back to the mud and blood of the trenches of the First World War. That is correct. So, since the last rifle I took up to the range was my 1903 Springfield, I figured let's arm ourselves with a 1903 Springfield and get to work. Alright, now I must admit, um, I've got a Second World War 1903 Springfield, 1942 uh, Remington issue, but as I said, aesthetically it's exactly the same. And honestly, it's actually a nice idea to have a, a more modern Springfield as opposed to an original First World War, just for the barrel um, standard. Oh, these Germans never stop, do they? Alright, reload. So yes, what's been happening with me lately? Well, I guess let's hold that talk until we're not dying of chlorine gas. Right, five rounds, fire! Damn. Germans are just coming out of some waves. Just shoot them back, damn it. I wish I hadn't used my grenades. Corrugated iron roof, save me. Alright, so, uh, I'm three weeks into my new job. I'm back as a park ranger again. Nice to have some money. Um, nice that I work weekdays and still have weekends off, although it's so weird going from having endless free time to actually having to have a schedule and work again. Although, I am loving my job. As I said, being a park ranger is what I'm good at. Oh, the Germans have completely taken the left flank. We're holding the right, but barely. And there's a bit of a contest over the centre. So yeah, that's been going pretty well. Um, as I said, having a paycheck again is one great advantage. And the next antique arm sale is due in like two weeks. So I'm thinking of taking myself along to that and seeing when I can find. A first of all, more German Morsel would be pretty cool. Although, as I said, I'm the type that loves all sort of obscure First World War weapons. Oh, he had a light machine gun. He should have ended me. He cocked that up royally. Although, he was armed with a Mazden, so... Grenade. Grenade. Yeah, I was never going to win that. I was flanked from that side and there, the enemy in the trenches. I'm just hoping those two grenades killed those Germans. So yeah, work's going pretty well. As I said, pretty tiring, pretty busy. One thing I... Well, not I hate, but one thing I definitely did not miss from not working was 9 to 5 traffic hours. Oh my gosh, if everyone on the roads would just do the speed limit... Like, I'm not even asking them to speed, I'm just saying do the limit then life would be so much grander. Grenade! Not bad. Said the Springfield Bolt is quite nice. Alright. So yes, as I said, 9 to 5 traffic has not been a great fan of mine. Alright. Grenade! Cover me! Bloody hell. Oh. Nice. Hey, another interesting thing about um, my new job is because it's in pest control, I may... I'm in, I need to get around and send in the email, but I may actually be able to buy semi-automatics again if I get my semi-automatic license, which will be nice. I'd like an M1 Garand or a... Even an M1 Carbine, although M1 Carbines are not great, are they, let's be honest. Although, an SLR is actually, like, you know, L1A1 or something like that would be pretty awesome. Personally. Right, reload. But for now, I'm happy with my first World War bolt actions. I just hit my Springfield and my Mauses and... I must admit, of all the new rifles I bought, the most accurate one I've so far has been my 1895 Winchester. 
In fact, the 1895 Winchester was the one that got the most, um, sort of, in general interest when I took it up to the range. A couple of the range officers and a couple of people were fascinated by it. And it is a nice rifle. And as I said, first Winchester to feature a box magazine, and one of the first Winchesters to be, uh, cycled with modern, you know, full rifle rounds as opposed to pistol rounds. Right, shoot the Germans back. I throw grenades. Oh, are the grenades useful or not? I don't know. Fuck's sake! I fucked up that shot. That bullet went right in between that cunt's legs. Fuck, that was a lucky prick German. But God, I wanted him to fucking die. That was just a reaction shot. Should have aimed center mass. Oh well, every German dead today is one we won't have to kill in 20 years. Right, grenades. Blow them out. Right, two dead. I mean, a shotgun would be perfect in this situation. Or even if I had a bayonet, it would probably be a little bit better for getting people down. But the fast, the Springfield bolt is not as fast as an infield bolt, but it's not slow. Which is a nice thing. Oh, fuck! I forgot to do the most fundamental thing with bolt actions. Count your rounds! Gas! Bloody hell, the Germans are just hammering the fucking front today. There's a German somewhere. Oh good, I got him, okay. <laughs> oh, it's such a goofy animation and it's not as smooth as the banner animation. But smacking someone in the head with your rifle butt is never not amusing. Well, I imagine it's not amusing for the person getting smacked, but you know what I mean. Alright, you're a Scotsman. Welcome, Scotsman. You're welcome to the front here. More gas. Endless gas. More Scotsman. Okay. Gas and Scotsman. That sounds like a Monty Python skit. Ignore the two shots I fucked up and missed on. Just ignore, just focus on the one that hit. I was completely fucked. Three Germans, two with Lugers, one with a, with a rifle. Point blank range. Nah, wasn't going to do that. Although, we're going to lose because it looks like the Allies are just getting driven back and back and back. I think that's the problem with this map. Once you start losing, you're almost going to keep losing. And if we're going to lose, it ain't going to be on the lack of failure on my part. Right, gas mask on. So what else? Oh yes, I'm finally going to get around to... I don't know if there's much crossover between these videos and my 40k videos, but I'm going to get around to actually making some of my stories again. I've written about three. It's just I um, asked some of my Discord lads if they would do the voice acting because I personally don't like my voice too much except for my Emperor voice uh, in my stories. But a few delays with that. So I'm going to do a few of my own in the short term. Oh, fuck's sake. I do actually hate that. Like, the five rounds go into the breach, but because the animation hasn't officially finished, it counts as the bullets not having gone in the rifle, which I know is a programming thing, and it's, you know, it's just one of those things hard to ignore, but it's still... Fucking Nazi scum. It's still hard to deal with. 45 to 7. That's not too bad. 57 to 4. That's better. Ugh fucking German scum. Oh, 
We'll see how far that goes, just for my personal amusement. Okay, only halfway. Alright. Grenade. Fuck you, German. Good attempt, but you fucked up your only shot you had on me. Oh, what the fuck was that? He shot a 9mm Luger round through a cor- Ah. It was through that post and the corrugated iron gap. Bullshit. Bullshit. Filthy, filthy Nazi scum. Ugh, why did I join a losing battle? We'll be back. Fuck you, Germans.